If you didn't know it was here, you'd never find it. Inside this nondescript door on State Street, there's a space for artists to thrive. UUU Art Collective. The space sells art, local drinks, snacks, and hosts concerts and community events. According to co-founder Zach Lajeski, This run of street is very representative of the culture of Rochester um, and the diversity of Rochester. And also because there's so few people on this block, you know, it's really set the tone. The mission of the gallery is simple. We're extremely focused on artist production and the production of artists' work um, from the studio, bringing it in, distributing it um, to an audience, and how can, you know, in a very uh, general sense, how can we make artists money so that they can continue to, to produce. A good paintbrush is, and I'm talking like a little paintbrush, is $17, you know, $20. For someone who's a jewelry maker or a metalsmith, like silver is expensive, gold is expensive, but you need these things, these materials, these high quality things to make more money, right? These are the things that are important to make your artwork look legitimate. Other galleries will often take a 50 or 60% commission on a piece sold. UUU only takes 35. The gallery keeps their art as diverse as possible, but with a focus on up and coming contemporary artists, those who might need a little bit more help from a business oriented group. It took two years to gut this space and to completely renovate it. And it's taken five years from the kernel of an idea until now. It started when Lajeski and his other Nazareth College student friends wanted to do something to help musicians in the community. They came to realize that it's even harder financially for visual artists. The business is mostly run by Lajeski, Casey Sullivan, and Dylan Niver, while the two other alumni, David Chan and Cody Naughton, are working in New York City and helping out with the books, respectively. Rachel Spezio also manages the bar. All of their motivation? I'm helping build my friend's career. I'm here with Eastman students, with Nazareth students, RIT people, and I'm seeing a community that's slowly being built. The current artist that UUU is showcasing is Ludovic Inkoth. He's from Harlem and a native of Cameroon. He's a painter and a mixed media artist who snapshots from his memories, old and new, and the moments and lives in Cameroon. He's just a really wonderful, great person, well-spoken, smart, uh, wonderful. So we're super stoked to be working with him and to have his work on the gallery walls is uh, totally changed the energy of the space. But now that the gallery is finally open and has been for a couple months, Lajeski has had a chance to reflect and to look forward. <laughs> I don't want to see any more artists and musicians leaving the city to go to New York, to LA, to Boston, Chicago, so that they can go find the, the bigger opportunities. I want that to be here. Well, as long as we have the Eastman School of Music, Nazareth, RIT, as long as we have all these huge schools and universities that are providing all these, like the best training in the world for these fields, and that we don't have the fact that we don't have the resources in Rochester to contain them here and to have them live successful, sustainable lives is feels unacceptable to me. People say that's this is what they've what the city needs and like what they need um, as an artist too. So it's just like how can you how can you stop? Yeah. How, how does that make you feel knowing that the community has been supported has been so good? Oh, it's like the best feeling in the world. I've always wanted to live in Rochester forever. You know, I love this place and we all love this place, and so it's to have our own spot, our own building in Rochester, our own little piece that's that's ours that we get to create and share with people is so, it's like, yeah, it's a great feeling, yeah. Dan Gross, News 8.